Later this month will be Warburg College's drag show hosted by the LGBT Advocacy Group Alliance. Cedar Valley Today's Caitlin Harback followed the story of one of this year's performers. Caitlin? Thanks, Ashley. Jenna McKinley knew she was a lesbian when she was just eight years old, but only three and a half years ago, she found out how much she liked wearing fake facial hair and flannel. By day, Jenna McKinley works as a medical equipment specialist. By night, this Waterloo woman transforms herself into a man, a drag king by the name of J.Q. Fauché Knight. On the weekends, Knight performs in front of crowds of nearly 300 people at Kings and Queens Tap, an alternative bar in downtown Waterloo. We have a lot of people on any given show night. I'd say that there's almost more straight people here than there are um, people from the LGBT community. Um, a lot of bachelorette parties come in to see a drag show. Um, even a lot of guys come in, a lot of straight men, they come in to see a show. And the bar's owner, John Hayes, says the Cedar Valley continues to support the business and says the acceptance has grown since the bar opened. The bar is involved in community events such as My Waterloo Days and the Cedar Valley Pride Fest. When I would start to come in here just as a patron, um, I've seen so much change just within that small time frame of the events getting any type of criticism and or disrespect. It has been almost an amazing transition. But behind the makeup, costumes and cheering crowds, Knight says there are times when he feels outshined. Knight is the only drag king out of the group at Kings and Queens and possibly the only one in the Cedar Valley. Kings aren't well known and I'd like to let the Cedar Valley know that kings are just as good as the queens. I do, I do wish that there were more kings to make it more diverse. As far as the Cedar Valley goes, Drag King wise, all they know is JQ. But he says it doesn't stop him from letting people see a side of him he's not afraid to show. Putting on a beard and uh, binding my chest back, I don't want to say it necessarily makes me feel like a guy, but it makes me feel like somebody totally different. There's other people who it's like, I'll introduce myself to them as JQ and they're like, oh, it's nice to meet you. And there's no questions asked. It's like I walk up there and I'm a guy. For Cedar Valley Today, I'm Caitlin Harbeck. The Warper College Drag Show will be on March 22nd in Newman Auditorium at 7.30 that night. This will be Knight's fourth time.